So CBD has gone gangbuster here, not only here in the U.S., but overseas, everywhere you turn, gas stations to your dentist office to, you know, CVS and all these, you know, they have walls and walls of so many different options of, of all these products. Um, what do you share with your patients when it comes to that? You know, you know, hi, doc, I have access. I just purchased this. Um, are there any warnings that you, and, and what are there any warnings you share with any of your patients? Well, you know, there's a whole, whole lot of discussion um, around the THC and the levels, particularly if we're going to use something like botanical um, and that sort of thing. When it comes to CBD in particular, I think that, you know, we're in this really weird place right now where sort of the, the sales and the marketing have way outstripped the science behind it um, and, and frankly also outstripped the regulation um, so that when you, you know, if you get your CBD uh, through the dispensary system in California or in Massachusetts, um, then there are some safety standards that are applied. Um, but if you're going to the Whole Foods or the gas station or any of these or online, as you mentioned, um, then there really aren't those safety standards. And we have a number of studies now that show us that there can be a whole range of problems with those sort of uh, more readily available products, ranging from simply, it says that there's CBD, but there isn't any. Um, and that's a bummer, but at least it isn't dangerous if you buy just a jar that's basically olive oil. Um, but then from there, what we found is that some of these preparations have um, contaminants like uh, heavy metals or pesticides, which obviously are not very good for you over the long term. And then worse than that, which just kind of floored me, is that we've actually found that there are, there are products out there that have adulterants, meaning things deliberately added like benzodiazepines or even opioids um, to make them sort of do something. Uh, and so that the purchaser feels like they're getting something from, from the medication. But obviously this is something that we would like to avoid and certainly like to um, avoid getting when we don't know we're getting these things. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I think that there are a number of issues around that sort of uh, over the counter CBD. Yeah. Um, and, then, and then there's this other issue, which is really, you know, sort of gets mentioned once in a while, but it really hasn't kind of caught on in the national conversation, which is that um, CBD is significantly more likely to interact with conventional medications. So, you know, if you're a 20 something year old and you're basically healthy and you have some anxiety and you want to take some CBD, it might not help your anxiety, but it's unlikely to do too much harm, um, assuming it isn't full of any of these contaminants we talked about. But the real issue is that most people who are looking for these sorts of things, as you mentioned, are seniors, right? Where they have uh, a whole range of other me medical illnesses um, and maybe on a range of medications that if it interacts with that CBD uh, can become dangerous. And uh, that kind of drug-drug interaction is something that we physicians spend a fair amount of time being concerned with. Um, and, uh, and it's not really kind of getting out into the real world um, and where people are using this not necessarily with the guidance of somebody like myself, then we can start to see some problems. And I've had this come up in my clinic a few times um, because, you know, it, it takes a lot of CBD to be useful, but it doesn't turn out that it takes a lot of CBD to start to get into that danger territory. So it really depends upon what you're taking, um, whether this can be a problem or not. Hi, John Malanka here with the United Patients Group. I hope you've enjoyed our videos. Please click like as well as subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Also, follow us on Twitter at you Patients Group and on Facebook at United Patients Group, as well as for our podcasts. Please click the link in the description below. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.